Hi everyone and welcome to the part two of this video. Uh, in this video, we are gonna be making a basic CRUD with Python that is nothing but put, post and delete request with Python. So this is a, how to make a REST API with Python and Flask. So let's get started and teach you very basics of CRUD that is create, add, delete, I think something like that. So basically we are gonna do our three requests that is uh, put, post and as I said, delete. So first of all, we need to import uh, two important li libraries from the Flask. As usual, you know that uh, we already did it in the video number one. And after that, we're gonna create an app. So we did this, right? You remember we already did this, right? And after that, for any base to run any basic Flask, we basically uh, do this, right? Now we can write our function and I'm gonna explain you in, in detail how and what and etc. <laughs> so let's get started. So uh, for this example, in the next video, I'll be I would be covering databases. Uh, so how do you add or delete um, content with just API calls uh, on the database? But for now, I'm gonna use list so that I can explain you. Uh, so let's get started. So let's define a list known as data. All right. After that, I need to define a class. So we are gonna define a class that will that can add people's name, uh, name of course, that can delete a name, but through the API calls. So of course, this is gonna inherit from resource as usual we did in the last video. So defining a get request. Remember always um, all the, the function will take by default self, you know. So define post self right now i'm just creating a blank template pretty quick delete self pass all right so we have our basic template ready uh so let's start filling it now so get and first i'm gonna write my post request so so basically what it will do basically whenever you give any um name it will add the name uh, but through the api calls remember that's the whole idea you know, so because uh, on the website of financial like API, you have API to get data, to post data and stuff like that. So we are creating our own API. So this is gonna take a name, remember, uh, right? So because it's gonna add the name, right? So the logic to uh, do that would be, uh, I'm gonna create a temp. So remember it always works on JSON, JSON objects. So basically JSON is nothing but in Python like dictionary stuff, remember? So, uh, I'm I'm gonna say data and we wanna post that data, right? So it's gonna take that name and uh, what do I need to do is data. Remember we have our data here, right? So data dot append and I'm gonna say uh, temp, remember? And after that I need to return um, that uh, temp that is a JSON object. All right, so that that's the simple post request I can uh, write. Now uh, I need to write a get request. Basically, the get request is basically just gonna take a name and it will print out whether that name is there or not. If it is there, it will print out. Otherwise, it will print none. So guys, what would be the logic? Pretty simple for X in, as you know, data, oops, data. Now we, our data is nothing but a dictionary. Uh, it has a dictionary, right? So when we iterate over the data, we're gonna say if x of, remember, um, data, right? Because that's what we are adding here, right? Data. So key value pair, if x of data, that is it's if, if this key, I mean, if this is the key for that uh, dictionary, this will be a value, right? It will give you a value. I wanna match, match that value with the name, whatever I pro, whatever the user provides. And if that both are equal, um, that means uh, the object is found. So return that dictionary or the JSON, whatever you want to say, all else return data none. I mean, you sh if there is no item, it should say, hey, nothing there, simple. All right, that's our basic get request. And similarly, I need to write my delete request. Uh, it's pretty simple, just gonna copy paste. That's it, that's all. And now we need to define our route or the API call. So here is the thing. So guys, in the last video we did that, right? What what was that? API dot add underscore what resource? That's correct, absolutely correct. What does it take, guys? It takes the uh, the class name. What was the class name here? It was people. Very good. What was the second parameter? It takes the route. So on what 
uh, the API will be like the local, so whatever, 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 slash puppy or name or whatever you want to say. So in my case, my API would be, if I want to add people, so I'm going to say slash name. Um, I can just slash and whatever name the user will pass in, uh, basically it should be, so string name. Uh, just make sure, just make, i uh, just trying to make sure that it's perfect. I think so that should work pretty much. Um, that's all I mean. That's pretty much it. That's that's pretty much it. Um, now let me run this. All right, so. Yep, there you go. Maybe sometimes, you know, what happens is usually when there are some multiple programs running here, so in the background, so it happens. So now here you see, this is an API call. Now let's go to the postman and I already taught you about the postman, right? So let's use it. So, right, so, yep, post, send, and this object is added on the data, on the list, you can see data sawmill. Now let's add one more, sha, post it. Now let's do a get. So if sawmill is there in the list, it will give you the data. If I say gibberish or anything else, it's gonna give you null or none. So here you see there is nothing known, uh, known as this. Now I can also delete if I want. So basically it will be delete and the name. Uh, so let's delete. So let's say Shah. First of all, let's get Shah. Let me show you that it's there in the data. Uh, let's say Shamil. Was it, was, was the S capital? Uh, I think the S was capital, I'm not sure. Yep, so this was capital. Now let's delete it and then later on let's do a get and see um, whether it was deleted. So we do a delete request, so node deleted. So we got this, this was running. Now if I do the same get, I'm gonna get null because it's not there in the list here you see. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it uh, using the basic uh, REST API with Flask. Have questions, post them in the comment section and I shall try my best to get back to you as soon as possible and yeah that's it thank you for watching